TikTok dance videos are viral over the years. Lots of TikTokers like to use camera lock-in effect in their dancing videos. It is super easy to make this in Wondershare Filmora. Let me show you the tutorial today. Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. Before editing, make sure your dancing video is filmed in landscape mode. First, let's drop the dancing clip on the timeline. Keep the original project settings, then change the aspect ratio to portrait and resolution to 1080 by 1920. Double click on your clip, Increase the scale to zoom in and adjust the object position to the middle of the screen. Just keep in mind that we need a good amount of space on top, down, right and left to move our clip. That's why we need the landscape mode video. Next, and the most important step, is to create a benchmark that our object can follow it. For that purpose, let's go to sample color, drag green color to the timeline and reduce its scale to between 1 to 2%. You will see it comes out a small dot. Increase its duration to match the clip. Move the dot on the head. Here we focus on the chin, and lock the green screen track. Select your clip on the timeline, go to animation, and add a blank keyframe. Now move 5 frames further. Here you can see the head is away from the dot. Let's move the clip until the chin position is back to the dot position. Again, move 5 frames further and bring the subject close to the point. repeat the same process for a few more moves. If you like to add more effect, you can zoom in and out by using scale. Just keep your subject in the center of your clip to make this effect more effective. And repeat the same process till the end of your clip. Once you're done with all the moves, this is what you will get in the end. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!